I've been using custom code on my own forms and on my client forms for the longest time. I've never really been a fan of Squarespace's native form blocks. I think, honestly, they just look a bit dated. But one thing that they've just rolled out is form block design packs. So basically, we have four different design options, or it's not so much options because we can customize them, but more so four different avenues that we can go down. And basically, what this allows us to do is have way more customization options for our forms. So this video is just going to go through what the four options are and then how we can go one further and then customize every single element of those forms until we get something that we're really happy with and we want to publish on our website. So anyway, let's get into it. This is going to be a deep dive into customizing your forms on Squarespace. So first off, we want to see, okay, where are we going to put our forms? So I'm going to create a contact page for this. Go to page layouts, hit contact, and we'll just say, I'll grab this. So now we've got our contact page, hit edit, and we can see, to be honest, Squarespace's standard forms don't look that great. Now, they've blessed us. So all we have to do is double click and then we're gonna just drag this up here, click design. And now you can see we've got our form styles. So if we click this, we have a drop down of four different styles. Let's try this one immediately. You can see it just looks a little bit nicer. Then you've got this one, which is um, border. It's basically a border version of the previous one. And then finally, we've got the underlines like this. I personally prefer the underlines. I think they look good. It's what I have on my personal website. And actually, I coded that way, way, way before Squarespace actually rolled out the native stuff. So what I need to do is probably move it over to this native style so I don't have to have so much code on my website. But basically, you can see immediately the difference. This just looks so much better. If we compare that to this, it's night and day in my opinion. Also, something that they've done, which is really good, if we double click back in, is they've given us the option for this button to be full width. So if we go into design and then button alignment, we can have middle and right as well as left, obviously, and then stretch. Again, this is what I have on so many client websites and on my own website. I think it just looks so much better. If everything else is full width, maybe except for these, but if everything else is full width, why wouldn't your button be full width? If you think about it like this, uh, well, not think about it, but if you look at it, that left alignment, it just looks crap. Let's be honest. You know, you compare that to everything else, it's not even the same width as this. If it was the same width as this, maybe I could forgive it, but realistically, we want that to be full width. So click on that, and then I'm going to make it underline and immediately our form looks a million times better. You can also change a few more things around, so you can change the button style between primary, secondary, and tertiary. Obviously, this is just a template site, so this hasn't been changed much. If we go back in, we've got a couple more things. So obviously, as usual, we can do light box, and then we can stick a background on as well. And then with our background, we can change the colors, like so, and then we can change the opacity of that color. We can also put a little radius on it if we wish and then change the padding like so. And if we scroll down, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it looks a million times better. So you can actually edit these styles in your site styles editor. If we double click, you can see it gives us the option here. It says edit form styles and then we can change basically everything about them. So I'm going to move me. You can see the field shape can be changed that you can make completely bespoke uh, form packs here it's much like the color palette packs you can see you can change the borders like this you can change the thickness so if you want to go crazy you can put 10 px maybe let's just do four change the padding and then field options so the checkbox you can change these to icons or buttons change them to pills, etc., etc. We'll change that thickness again. In fact, I think the icons actually look a bit better, so we'll do that. You can change the spacing, so let's move that up a little bit, and then you can stack or fit. There's so many options here. We go back out the field options, because you can get lost in there for days. Fonts, again, you can apply fonts to every single section of this. So what I used to have to do quite a lot for clients was I would have to use custom code to target basically every single part of this and say, okay, change the font of the input. 
for instance, change the font of the input, for instance, or change the font of the first and last name. You can do all of that here, which is absolutely amazing. And then you can do the same with colors. You can see you can apply all the colors to all the sections. And then down here, you can change the spacing as well. I'm not going to bore you because you can literally just change all these sliders. But that is how you customize your forms. When you're happy, just hit exit. And then you can see it's done. Obviously, you've got complete creative freedom with this. You can go wild. But that's the basics. Honestly, for the most part, if you're feeling lazy, just use the form packs. But if you want to go super granular, which I do understand, then you can go into site styles up here, go into forms, and you can fiddle about to your heart's content. If you found that useful, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.